Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to Two Minute Tuesday, where we give you tips and tricks regarding the software that helps you get to where you need to be. Today, we're going to jump into Avantis Designer, and I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to create separate pans for different types of towers. Let's get started. As you can see here, I've got a straight run with two columns in between, and obviously, I need to make a safe working platform. So, what I'm going to be doing is creating two decks here and obviously one deck here same on the other side and then depending on the gaps i'm going to create some cover plates here and here on both on both columns so to get started with my decks i'm going to drag on a new bay i need to create this bay at the size that i need it's going to be two decks wide so that'll be 0.73 because i'm using ring lock material and it's going to be 140 into my tmb I'm going to change this to 140 and then I need two pans wide so that's 0.73 so into my LNR and 0.73 that one I've got the size I need let me just zoom in a bit and now instead of me going into my bay details and removing all ledgers and all standards I can just go up here to uh, convert to plank only bay so if I click on that that gets rid of everything that I don't need I'll just show you so there's my two decks now. So these are just normal decks. What I'm using in these towers, I'm just going to run straight across because it perfectly fit. Place them where I need them. I'm happy with that. Now I need to create two more for here. So instead of doing that, all that again, I can just click on the bay while it's highlighted. Click Control, get the plus symbol, and then just drag across. Place them in position. For my single pan, I'm just going to copy this again. And now... I need to go into L and R again and I need a 039 that's for my one deck that I need so I need two of them so control drag across place that in position and then place this one in there we go let's take a look at that so there you go I've created my straight run all the way through let me have a look at opposite side I'm happy with that Obviously, they can move over slightly if needed. Yeah, I'm happy for that. Now, for my gap fillers, obviously, I could do the same thing again, but I'd obviously got had to go into my bill of materials and then add an extra part in for my gap fillers that I need. But a simple way to get around that, so you're not having to mess around, is if you create some boards or some cover plates within your stencils using the beam stencil, you could create parts that you need and you can just drag and drop. So what I mean by that, if I go into my stencils and I need uh, boards and cover plates. So in here, I've got some 1.5 by 190 millimeters gap filler board. And then I've got some 320 gap filler boards. And then I've got some wooden scaffold board. So all depending on what you are allowed to use on site, all depends on what you're going to use so for me i'm just going to use my standard gap filler boards my 320 wide ones so i can this is 207 so i don't need it that wide i only need to cover this part here so i think a 157 will do obviously i've created my planks lengthways i'm going to change it to the here which obviously changes the size while it's highlighted i go into building objects and now i'm going to change it back to a 157 this is all the information as you can see for this part what I've created it's referenced to a part within my material master so every time I pull this part out it references this part in into my bill of materials I place that where I need it click control drag it across and then I need two more for here and there you go into my model view and there you go I've created my straight run with no gaps now around my columns so all safety aspects have been covered so I'm happy with all them gaps what I'm going to do now is just turn on my tow boards for here tow boards for here and that will be my straight run completed so into this into my tow boards turn them on T and B click OK into this bay tow boards T and B and there you go straight run round columns I hope you liked this video and if it did help please like and subscribe for more content to come.